Now, the Uganda Tourism Board today showcased a splendid launch of the Pearl of Africa brand. A couple of you saw this on Twitter. This is timely as Uganda and the rest of the world recover from the pandemic. Now, to help us understand this and appreciate the strategy of the country, we have the Executive Director of UTB, Madame Lili Ajarajova, to NTV tonight. Good evening, Lili. Good evening. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And Happy Liberation Day. <laughs> now, you. let's set this conversation about uh, the entire brand. Why is the branding so important and the timing? Why now? It's perfect timing okay. because we are getting to restart the industry mm. after the, the impact that we have had with the pandemic. Okay. I mean, the economy is opening up, so we need to position ourselves and have the right actions and uh -huh. strategies mm. to restart the industry uh -huh. and get moving and move quick. So one of the key things that we saw even uh -huh. pre-pandemic was our branding was lacking in terms of having a brand identity yeah. that talks to what we offer as, as a Uganda. tourism destination wow. and uh, so we took time to review this and mm. uh, what is very key one is to note that uh, our competitive advantage mm. is that we have the the depth the mm. range and the variety of Africa in mm. this unique country called Uganda mm. it is not just one item it's mm. not just one thing that is special about Uganda. Okay. You could basically get the whole of Africa in Uganda. experience in Uganda. Now, w what should we look up to, um, we as citizens and then the tourists who are just coming in, what should we look forward to? Well, first, the, the, the product offering mm -hmm. remains in mm. terms of the, the diversity that we have mm. from wildlife to culture mm. to the history mm. and the lot more that we have to offer mm. but very important to note is that uh, with this new brand mm -hmm. uh, explore uganda the mm. pearl of africa mm. the campaign that we are starting with right now mm. is for the domestic market for the ugandan okay. market mm. we have the big idea for the domestic market mm. which is uniquely ours okay. we want every ugandan to be well informed through this campaign mm. that we are starting now to roll out the campaign mm. uh, the brand mm. to understand actually what we have as a country mm. and also encourage every ugandan mm. to explore their own country no. before we actually go to the international campaign that makes a lot of sense uh, during this friday launch i saw a couple of tourism professionals boycotted the event from your perspective what could have been the cause uh, it could have been just a communication Glitches. Gap. Yes. Mm. Now, is there truth to the reports that we have seen that um, you have ignored the concerns of the practitioners, such as the mace in clearing the tourists um, for the entry into Uganda, such as the double or the triple testing of COVID-19, among other concerns? Say that again. The concerns. Um, yeah. There are reports that your board has ignored the request of some practitioners that is messing up the tourists to get into the country such as the double testing of covid 19 where they're coming from again they test here yeah. then they have to test again when they're going in the parks have you addressed that i think that has been well addressed mm -hmm. that has been well addressed the biggest concern the, that the operators had the mm. private sector had mm. was about the whole process of how everything was happening at the airport yeah, yeah. and right now it is seamless for everyone especially for the tourists because mm. we have categorized mm. the different booths for different categories of people okay. and i can i, I can a hundred per se that has been solved. Okay, so what is our call to action as citizens now that this brand is here and uh, you launched it and it's so much more about the Ugandans first embracing it. So right there in the camera, what could you tell the citizens? What's our call to action? Do we have to travel every now and again? And what is in for us as citizens? What is important for mm. every Ugandan with the brand Explore Uganda, the Pearl of Africa mm. is first of all, 
to get to share what you feel is unique about what you have just mm. around you. Mm. What is it on a day-to-day basis that you really enjoy, mm. you know, which is very Ugandan? You know, the food, mm. the weather, whatever is around you. Mm. We want you to help us to share it mm. with the rest of Ugandans. Mm. Because <coughs> somebody in Kisoro, somebody in Ajumani, in Moroto, mm. you know, the experiences are all different from yeah. the culture, from the weather, from everything around us. Mm. So we'd like to encourage every Ugandan to share mm. that which you feel is very unique, mm. you know, about your own place, about mm. your own culture, mm. and your own experience about Uganda. Wow. To encourage, we are encouraging every Ugandan then, you know, to be able to explore mm. what we have. Mm. Uganda has so much in terms of what God has given us, oh, yeah. in terms of the natural resources, but also the culture. You know, moving from the north to south is a great experience for anybody who hasn't traveled. Mm. Get to know your country. Mm. And uh, there is opportunity that comes with that as well mm. in terms of investment, in mm -hmm. terms of employment. So we look forward to every Ugandan mm. embracing this brand, mm. owning it. Mm. It is ours. Thank it you. It is uniquely mm. ours. There you have it. That is uh, Lily Jorajova from the Uganda Tourism Board. Just recently they were traveling around the country with the entire commission trying to understand what tourism sites need more upbeat, need renovation and all that. So your task and my task is to go around the country and share what we have seen.